Hello, you are watching Quanturis Block Video Channel, and in this video I will show you my new ceiling lamps installation in my van. I changed my old ones, that which was uh, low brightness and bad look, for my new cool ones, which I will show you in a second. So, this is how my lamps in a van look now. Pretty cool, right? Uh, it has a separate button for, for each light. And I have three of them. One on the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. And here you can see the final result. Uh, the ceiling lamp installed in the roof of my van and I don't actually have all the video footage of the installation but I have some photos and I show you some tools that I used and we will go step by step to all the process let's go so first one I got these lamps it's a low profile LED lights uh, and what makes them cool it's actually uh, LED, it's a LED stripe that goes around the inside perimeter and faced to the center of the lamp and that makes this lamp uh, very soft lighting. Yeah, you see, you couldn't see the light source in your lamp, uh, it's just plain, very soft, bright, cool light. So I got these lamps. Uh, for not very pricey, uh, I will of course put all the links in the description of the video. But I don't like uh, the white frame of the lamps. Yeah, you see, it's not very great. So I disassemble the lamp, took the frame and go to the garage to paint uh, it like I paint my ceiling fans before. I put two layers of the primer and three layers of the actual paint and it turns out very good looking lamps so I am happy with this result. Next I make some measurements, take my sharpie and mark the contour of the lamp in my ceiling. Uh, the next thing I took my stapler and actually make a square contour uh, to my leather not going anywhere when I will make a hole. It helps to secure the material on the plywood and I able to make a hole without making my leather go anywhere. Ooh. Then for making a hole uh, without putting the ceiling off which is very hard job in my van. I took this vibrating multi-tool uh, with this vertical sided blade. With this tool making square holes it's a very easy job and I able to make it without taking the ceiling off. But if you don't have these tools you can uh, use the jigsaw machine, but you have to put ceiling down to make your hole. After I cut the hole, I need a small hole for my buttons, which I got from China. It's a simple, a very cool buttons with this soft glowing ring, which I so much like. Uh, they looks very luxury. And I actually have uh, some of them with uh, uh, another colors of the ring. It uh, have orange, green, red, anything. So maybe it will be useful for your project too. So for me this I took my drill with a wood drill and just make a round hole. Then put the button in. 
the next step was the connection. Uh, all the lamps came with this uh, adapter that I don't know what purpose it makes, but uh, it connects to the lamp and it takes 12 volts power to operate. So there all the wires connected to the my button and with this easy connectors it connects to my source power from from my fuse box which is simple connection uh, all my lamp has separate wire there and all have this button and good working separate one from the other thank you for watching i like the installation of the lamps very much because they are very flat i don't touch them with my head uh, they provide very bright and soft light which is warm white so it's very important for me because i don't like the cold white uh, light and now i have uh, three lamps and plenty of light in my van when I want it to be. I will put all the links in the description of the video as usual and subscribe to my channel. Go to check out my other videos. Thank you for watching and bye! Here you see, uh, <clears throat> these lamps looked, looked one, two, one, two, three.